Have you ever heard of Vladimir Komarov? Born in Moscow in 1927, Komarov would become one of the very first cosmonauts in 1959, being assigned to work under Commander Yuri Gagarin, the first man to ever go into space. Komarov's big moment finally came in 1967. He'd been assigned as the primary cosmonaut for Soyuz 1, an upcoming single-seater craft. It was in preparation for this that the first space tragedy would ever occur. On the 27th of January 1967, Apollo 1 would explode on its launch pad, killing the astronauts inside. But did Komarov let this stop him? No. On the 23rd of April, April 1967, Soyuz 1 would launch, almost immediately experiencing technical issues. Briefly, at the age of 40, Komarov would become the oldest man to ever go to space, and it also become the first one to ever die there. The technical issues forced abortion of the mission, and on the 24th of April, Soyuz would attempt to re-entry, its parachute failing to open. It's often claimed that deep-sea fishermen is the world's most dangerous job, with 130 for every 100,000 dying. That's not true. The world's deadliest job is astronaut, with 5,000 for every 100,000 dying.